Supreme Spring Summer 2024 is here, and today we are gonna go over every single item on the first drop list for week one, happening on February 15th, 2024. You guys won't wanna miss it. I'm talking about my favorite picks, resale predictions, and my overall thoughts on the drop as a whole. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys can be up to date on every time I go live and post a new video. I will be doing a live stream today on Wednesday night, the 14th, the day before the drop, so we can talk all about this drop list, kind of strategize and what we're gonna cop, but we have so many things to get into, guys. First things first, the Silly Straw. This is the free gift this year, pretty cool. This is a mock-up right now and we don't have official pictures of the Silly Straw, but I think it is pretty silly indeed, and it is always nice to see a free gift from Supreme after a little bit of time away from that. Next up, Hanes Boxer Briefs. You got gray boxers, nothing too different from what we usually see, $32 for a two pack of boxers. I think the Supreme Boxers are actually kind of comfortable. I usually wear Supreme Boxers most days because I'm a hype beast down to the toes, and that includes underwear. First cool item, I think, is this Supreme First Gear die-cast 164th full-scale model of this mini cab truck, which is really cool. It's like a full-size cab Mack truck. It's got the Supreme Motion logo on the trailer. Three different colors. I know 128 seems really expensive, but for those of you that know anything about die cast replicas, those are kind of expensive. And I think, you know, painting this whole thing, making it look realistic, it is on the expensive side of things. So I think people that are into die cast models will be into this. I don't think this will be an easy flip by any means. I think this might be like a slow increase in price, but could be a good, you know, speculation investment for the mid to long term. It really just depends on the market and what people are feeling. Futara box logo. You know, for a box logo, I think this one is kind of on the lesser hyped side of things just because it isn't the standard Supreme logo. And it does look pretty cool. I do like the Futara font. It's cool to see them again, but we do have this you was raised off our shit on the back. I don't know if that increases or decreases the value, but I think compared to even just the camo box logos that we saw last season, I think this is going to do a little bit less than those. So buy accordingly. I do still think these will resell, but I don't think it's going to be like doubling or tripling your money super, super quick like box logos of the past. Just my opinion could always be wrong. The Maradona shirt. Now in my preview video, I didn't know who Diego Maradona was, which is Kind of unfortunate because he seems like a very popular soccer player of the past, football player. And I know people that are really into that history will love this shirt. I saw a lot of people on the Supreme Reddit saying they are going for this piece. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna be going for it because I'm not a fan of Maradona. All right, Supreme have a Hank bandanas. Pack of three, 22 bucks. I think this item could definitely sell out. It could also be one of those things where they make a shit ton of them and it takes a little bit for it to sell out. But at 22 bucks, if you are into it and would actually use it, go for it. I can't say for sure if this will sell, resell, that kind of thing. But it's definitely worth looking into bandanas of previous seasons. Go on eBay, go on StockX, do your own research before determining will this sell out or not. Hey, Supreme Mac Tools tote tray. I was right. I predicted this would come out this season because this was delayed from last year. We had this on the preview for fall winter 23. We never saw it come out. 98 bucks gets you a tote tray. It's a little expensive, but it is that 20 gauge steel. And if you need this for your garage, whatever your shop, you want to use it. Big Supreme logo on the side. I say go for it. The Rolf T. It's so cool to see the Muppets completely back with Supreme. I guess they really only did Kermit in the past, but it's cool to see this full new Muppets collection for this year. I'm not really a big Muppets guy. You know, it's interesting. It's something from my childhood, but I probably won't be copping this shirt. But if you like it, it is 48 bucks and it's there for you to cop tomorrow in multiple colors. 
I'd say the first hyped item on the list is this big logo Chanel varsity jacket, kind of like a sister piece to the Tiger varsity jacket from FW23. Really big Supreme logo with that Chanel material right there, cowhide leather sleeves, really good materials on this piece. Definitely one of Supreme's more premium items, definitely big and bold. The logo was apparently designed by CPFM, Cactus Plant Flea Market, so that's really cool. And this is definitely one of those higher end Supreme items, you know, 568 bucks. It is expensive, but I do project this one to sell out because these hyped big name, kind of big dollar Supreme items tend to do pretty well with the people that have the funds to invest. I could definitely see someone being like, this is the only item I'm going for this year. I'm gonna cop it and then kind of say sayonara to the rest of the season. Really cool jacket. It'd be interesting to see what the Tiger Varsity jackets are selling for right now to kind of get an understanding of what these $500 Supreme Varsity jackets go for. Rooted Boxical Skateboard. I really don't even know what is the deal with this guy. Is it two pieces right here? Is that just the grip tape? And this is the board right here. We don't even see the bottom side of it. So I don't even know what's going on with this rooted or routed box Lego skateboard, but it'll be available tomorrow for 60 bucks. And you can find out, I guess, after copping it. Supreme CDW Delta Carabiner is next. I'm not really a huge fan of this item. I don't think it's anything special. It's an interesting looking carabiner, I guess. Silver and gold. It is just brass though, it says right here. So if you need a new carabiner, maybe pick it up tomorrow. I don't really see this selling out or having any kind of resale value. Collegiate hooded sweatshirt. I think this is a really nice piece. I've always liked Supreme's collegiate logo. It's available in six pretty nice colors. Relatively understated piece, just says Supreme on it. And it's there, it's available and it costs $158 with that brush back fleece with tackle twill logo applique. I mean, Hanes Crew Socks, not much else to say about these guys. Pretty much match your underwear. $24 for a pack of four. Okay, the first bags of the year. Do I hate them or do I like them? I actually like them. The mini duffel bag is pretty cool. 5.5 liters of volume. Water resistant material, 3M thin -solate. I dig it. I actually really like this. I think this is a great size bag. It's not as big as a full duffel bag, but 5.5 liters is still enough to kind of carry around some everyday stuff. I wouldn't really use this for like an overnight bag, but maybe a day trip or something. Good for potentially a car trip, maybe camping. I feel like you'd want a bigger backpack if you're camping but maybe just walking around the city too, carrying your stuff. I wonder if it fits a computer, 5.5 liters. Like I get how much that is, but like in person, you kind of have to see this to know what it's uh, really all about. But I think this guy could sell out in certain colors. 98 bucks isn't too bad. And I think the rest of the bags are pretty cool too. This one made me laugh when I first saw it. The Freud Hedge Shears. Really hilarious head shears with self-sharpening chrome plated bevels and wooden handles and it's made in Germany for whatever that means. Now, the question is, will Europe be barred from buying this like they were barred from buying the Damascus knife? Bruh. Because these guys look pretty sharp and I imagine they ship out unsharpened or at least I would hope because they do have self-sharpening blades, whatever that means, but pretty cool little set of shears I mean, I don't know who the target audience is for this, like a collector. It's kind of weird to have shears hanging up in your house. Maybe put it in your garage. I feel like it's only for people that are hardcore collectors that buy every Supreme accessory or someone that really needs a new set of shears. So if that's you, I'd love to hear if you're copping these down in the comments. Butara Skateboard, pretty much the same exact design as the box logo. We got that same Supreme Futara, really cool graffiti font with the you was raised on our shit on the other side. So these are different skateboards. So there's gonna be six different ones if you include all the different variations, which is pretty crazy because these are clearly all the bottom of the skateboard, at least I think it is, unless I'm completely tripping and this is the top and that's the bottom, which could actually make more sense, but judging by the picture, they all look like they're the same orientation. I guess we'll find out tomorrow during the drop, but 60 bucks for those skateboards, always pretty much the same price. Shoulder bag is next. Same color, same material, 1.5 liters of volume. I think these have a good chance of selling out. 
Supreme shoulder bags for years now have always done pretty well. You can go look at the market again on StockX or eBay. And I highly recommend anybody that's trying to flip stuff to do market research on similar items from previous seasons. It won't always be a one-to-one -one comparison. Obviously, they change up the design, they have new materials, new colors, but it is a good indication of the market as a whole. But for 54 bucks, it's not really that big of a risk. In this investment, I think at least you will break even. And it's not really an investment, I should say, speculation, because you have no idea if the market will just tank on you know, luxury goods and accessories like this. Supreme Crew 96T, this one's really dope and it features some of the original Supreme Team skaters. I think for the real Supreme skater heads, this is kind of a must cop or a really cool item, if nothing else. Available in multiple different colors, classic Supreme Tee, and it is that original artwork, Supreme Crew 96 by Shadi Perez. And I always love learning more about old school Supreme. Learned a lot in my Supreme Louis Vuitton video. So if you guys haven't seen that, go to my channel and check out the entire history of Supreme Louis Vuitton. We definitely talk about this old 90s era Supreme skate team. The classic backpack right here. 158 bucks. This is probably one of my favorite backpacks of recent years. Honestly, since covering Supreme on a weekly basis, this is probably my favorite backpack since then because it's pretty simple. It doesn't have a bunch of meshing out on the front of the bags. For whatever reason, that always turns me off from backpacks. I like just the simple design. I like the stripes right here, the kind of cross hatching. I love just the box logo and then Actually, the tonal looks pretty good on this right here. I think it helps make the backpack kind of stay understated, but also for the camo one, I love that it's, you know, this color right here, this gray with the brown box logo, super clean. Black one looks good too. If I had to pick my favorite, it would be the camo followed probably by the black and then blue. I do love the orange, but for a backpack, bright orange is just kind of crazy but i think this definitely could sell out we will see because there are some people saying this season is trash and all that stuff which you get those people every year i'm really hopeful for this season and i think overall what i'm seeing so far is pretty good even if like all this stuff isn't to the standard that we saw last season with fw23 we still have some cool stuff this patchwork tee it's pretty nice i don't know if this is screen printed I imagine that it is, even though it looks embroidered because of that price tag. I think it is screen printed, 40 bucks, yeah. Original artwork by Sean Crawford. I think that would be more expensive if uh, it was actually embroidered. All right, Supreme Mechanics Leather Work Gloves. I actually love these and would not mind copying a set of these because I do love having some Mechanics Work Gloves. I don't need it though, because honestly, for most of my work glove stuff, I just use reusable ones. But this would be pretty solid for the track for like changing my tires and stuff and doing stuff like that, putting new brake pads in, whatever I got to do when I'm out there with the Civic SI. But 58 bucks, some decent gloves. I think these could potentially sell out too because they don't make leather work gloves every single season. Gore-Tex Anorak, this piece is just all right to me. 298, I think we've seen a lot better Gore-Tex Anoraks in the past. So I could see this being an easy pass. The colorways aren't really doing it for me, but if you just wanted a new Gore-Tex Anorak, it is here for you. 300 bucks is always kind of that steep price tag, but Gore-Tex does kind of command that price. Utara sweater is next. Still just going off a similar design that we've seen. What do you guys think of the Futara collaboration? I was really hopeful for it, but in some ways I'm kind of let down. Like it's decent. It's definitely all right, but I hope that they come out with more items that we haven't seen in the preview. That's a little bit different. They all just seem pretty similar to me and just that same logo written on different pieces. I mean, it's okay. I'm not hating on it at all, but I would never probably cop this sweater to be quite honest. I don't really love poem looking pieces. It's just never been my style. 168 though. It's there if you want it. A small box hooded sweatshirt, on the other hand, this guy is pretty clean. And if it wasn't about to get super warm here in Arizona, I might actually cop one of these. I love all the different colors. And then, of course, we have the one pattern being that Arctic camo real tree, which is super sick. I think this is a great piece. It's definitely loud. It's definitely a certain type of person that gravitates toward it. But 
I'm always a fan of patterns, so I give it two thumbs up. And the small box is 148, not too bad for a sweatshirt from Supreme. Okay, we're on Beanie Watch Boys, gradient space dye beanie, 40 bucks. Now, I don't know shit about beanies clearly because when that Supreme hand tied beanie started selling for 300 bucks after being sold for what, 38, 40 bucks, it just took me completely by surprise. I could see this guy selling for some, but I clearly just don't know what makes a beanie hype and what makes it kind of average, but it does kind of have that similar logo that we saw on the hand tied beanie. This definitely looks like a handmade stitched beanie. I don't know. I kind of dig it. It's there if you want it. 40 bucks. What could go wrong? All right, Supreme Hanes, Tagless Tees. This is just the gray color. I hope we still get the white and black shirts because those are always solid to have. And if you've never copped a Hanes Supreme shirt, it's a average Hanes shirt that just has a small box logo on it. It's comfortable. Two of them for $32, so a little expensive, but kind of cool, I guess. Washed Canvas Boonie. Interesting. I've never been a giant boonie guy. I've just always preferred bucket hats, but I don't mind this boonie at all different camo patterns, very interesting colorways, not actually real like field camo that you would use in like a camouflage scenario, but the black one is pretty all right. Other two are decent. I think the black one would be the one to go for just if I had to guess on what has the potential on reselling. Bucket hats tend to go kind of towards that black side of things for the colors. 68 bucks too is kind of expensive in my opinion. All right, waist bag for the fanny pack boys. Same material, 500D Cordura, three liters. Interesting, is that bigger than the shoulder bag? That's kind of wild. So the fanny pack's got more space. If you guys have always dogged on fanny packs, and I gotta say this from experience, guys, do not sleep on fanny packs. Some of the most useful bags I've ever had are fanny packs, and I especially like them for music festivals, concerts, and anytime I'm traveling around like an airport, I'm around on vacation, I wanna have my wallet, I wanna have whatever I'm picking up that day. Usually though, I'm putting like headphones in there, my passport, random little items that you have and you don't wanna carry around in your pockets and you don't wanna carry around a big hunkin' bag. You just want something you can throw under your shirt or over your shirt. Fanny packs are pretty dope. I mean, Dwayne The Rock Johnson rocked one and 78 bucks, hey, could be a pretty sick cop. Got the over-dyed beanie right here in multiple different colors. This one's kind of crazy, kind of reminds me of the Paranorman foam posits and pretty clean beanie with the small logo right here. I don't know how these will do. I get the feeling that sometimes if they release too many colorways of a piece like this, it tends to sometimes bring the value down because it's spread across so many different colors. I don't know if that's something that's real, but I do feel like the pieces that do kind of fly up in price tend to be that two to three to maybe four or five different colorways. I don't know. Could be the case with this, but I don't know if this will resell or not. I definitely wouldn't cop it predicting it to definitely just start flipping instantly. Faux fur jacket is pretty crazy. Faux fur with quilted poly lining, embroidered logo. We looked at this during the jackets preview video pretty out there piece. I would love to try this on and try to think about what kind of outfit I would put together, but I just don't think I uh, have that current fashion confidence. I definitely could rock this if I wanted to, but 400 bucks, a little steep, and I just don't think I'm living in the right kind of climate for this guy to ever be a viable piece for the wardrobe, but would love to see some fit pics of this later this week. First S cap of the season is the gold cross S logo. 54 bucks and it does have that little cross right there which is cool we do also have this i think that's another real tree camo not sure how this guy will do i know the jesus piece s logo ended up being a pretty sick piece last year but 54 bucks wavering on if this will resell or not i'm leaning towards not too much but i could always be wrong now an item i do think will resell is the 99 long sleeve football top it's an affordable jersey. It is long sleeve, but I do kind of like this guy. Now I do need some help from the stream tonight to help me pick which color to go for. I do kind of want to just cop this to flip just so we can keep making videos and keep copping stuff. Let me know what you guys think is the most hyped colorway, the thing you think has the most potential. I'm kind of leaning towards the maroon and red, but also 
the Oregon Ducks colorway, you got the Colts colorway right here. I don't know. Maybe just go safe and go with the black and white, but I think this will be a pretty decent investment or a speculated piece on resale, but you never know. Again, 110 bucks, pretty cheap for a football top. Fishtail parka. Now, I was gassing this piece up a whole lot in the jackets video, and I still do think that fishtail parkas are really on the rise. I was reading some comments on the Supreme Reddit, and some people were being critical about this piece that it isn't actually a lined fishtail parka. So I have never really worn a ton, but it does look like kind of like an overlayer. It doesn't have a ton of of padding and actual insulation to keep you warm and 500 bucks is a really steep price and i know that that futara poem is going to be kind of divisive for some people it might kind of make or break the piece so i'd love to hear your guys's opinion on this fishtail parka i am excited though to see a fishtail parka actually returning these used to be just everything back in 2016 made by alpha industries really cool all right, the shadow tee is next. All cotton classic supreme tee. There's the design, immaculate, 40 bucks. Hey, hell yeah. Reversible down puffer jacket. We got three different colors. This guy is pretty cool. It's basically two jackets in one, $300. Really don't know if this will resell in the springtime, but it's there if you need it. Embroidered patch on chest, pretty cool overall. St. Sebastian long sleeve tee. This guy's interesting. So St. Sebastian, I don't know his lore, but that's a very cool little design. Reminds me of the SpongeBob episode when he was writing out the letter or the essay with the, and the T was all stylized like that. But this is the S and it's Supreme. Pretty cool shirt, 54 bucks. I actually quite like it. Wash Chino Twill Camp Cap. Just a pretty run of the mill camp cap right here. Always do relatively well long term i feel like but again i think it takes a little bit for supreme hats as of recently to start reselling for a lot so if you want to buy these to resell i would definitely be prepared to hold on to them for a little bit we got the duffel bag next 178 bucks 44 liters pretty hefty sized duffel now i'm actually not the biggest fan of this style of duffel bag i do kind of like the traditional duffel bag style but i do like that they mix it up and kind of went with a more rectangular design could probably lend itself to carrying certain items a little bit better kind of interesting though 178 bucks same four colors i dig it got the damn cube tote bag right here this one is 24 liters of volume again those same colors i think this is pretty cool i like the designs of all these items but I think the tote bags and the duffel bags are properly rated lower than what we've seen so far. Small box long sleeve tee available in like seven or eight different colors right here. Whole lot of choices. There it is right there. Nice little stitched embroidered logo. Very cool. And at 68 bucks, you really can't go wrong for a very simple Supreme piece right there. Satin hooded track jacket is next. This guy does have that 30 years of dedication world famous supreme i do like it but i also could see people not really fucking with it i don't know what do you guys think of this satin jacket it's definitely a out there piece for sure like satin is a weird material to kind of feel if you've actually ever worn satin before but i do think it is pretty cool and if you go with the full matching set for like 400 bucks you're definitely flexing a little bit but we've definitely seen better track jackets before and I don't know if I would pick this over some of the stuff that Palace has up on offer for this season. Baggy jeans are next. That three ounce denim. Here we go, baby. Do really like these Supreme jeans. Always, again, I tell myself every season, this is going to be the year. And maybe this will be the year for me. We will see, guys. 168 bucks. This is one of those things that I'm like, damn, should I just wait for a potential sale? I don't know. They're there for you if you want them that the Hanes wife beater right here, tagless tank top, 28 bucks for a pack of three. Again, it's just the same old, same old Hanes collaboration. Weirdo Dave corduroy camp cap. Very weird indeed. Corduroy is actually a pretty cool material to have a hat. I do have that Supreme racing hat from a number of years ago, and it does feel pretty cool. I don't mind these designs at all. Not super familiar with Weirdo Dave's work, but I do think it's pretty cool. 58 bucks, it's there if you want it. Football zip up hooded sweatshirt. I'm just so like, 
up and down with this piece. Like I want to like it, but there's something about this material that makes it look like, dude, does this come with built-in shoulder pads or something? Or is this just the way it's laid out? I don't know. I really want to like it a little bit more. I guess if you are a Cleveland Browns fan, you got a really nice matching set right there or like a Chargers fan or Raiders fan. It does kind of work, 178 bucks. I think it's decent. Spitfire wheels, won't really talk about those. Those come out every single year. Cinch bag right here, 78 bucks for five liters. And I don't even know what people use cinch bags for. Maybe for like climbing, would you put chalk in here? That's the only thing I can think of for cinch bags. Maybe a water bottle, maybe a, a baseball to go play catch with your son with. I have no clue. You saw the baggy jeans, but now we have the regular jeans and very similar, just a different style of fit. You also have the Supreme Star right there, which I dig and available in four different colorways. 158 instead of 168. Then we got the Stone Slim Selvage Denim. And I know Selvage Denim definitely means a lot for people. And these are really sick. I actually really enjoy the fit of these. I've never owned a pair of selvage denim jeans. I used to know what selvage denim meant. I don't know anymore. So if you guys know jean heads, let me know in the comments. What are we selvaging here with this guy? But really nice piece. I think these will probably sell out because selvage denim definitely has its own kind of niche audience that tends to gravitate towards pretty much every piece that comes out so many more items to look through guys i really don't even know if i need to go through all of them we'll just kind of briefly touch on everything small box sweatpants right here 148 pretty dope it's just a pretty average small box sweatpant we also have the rigid baggy selvage jeans which these are crazy dude these are super baggy I don't know if I would have the confidence to just buy these off a store without getting the measurements first, but those are pretty cool. Then we have the slim selvage jeans, which I would definitely cop these over the other ones just because I am kind of a skinnier guy. I think these would fit me a little bit better and they're $10 cheaper, which is pretty dope. Jacquard stripe hooded sweatshirt, eh, talked about that in my jackets and sweatshirts video, or I guess my shirts and tops video. It's okay. Same thing with the standard tee. It's nothing particularly crazy. And then here we go with the cashmere sweater. I actually like this piece, but more of a fall winter kind of design. But if you want to stock up for the upcoming fall and winter, get it. 248, pretty steep. But if it's still cold around your area, maybe go for it. I'll pull up the small box right here because I do want to at least talk about this. I am probably gonna be copying one of these this week. I'm thinking about the denim one, but I'm probably gravitating towards either this gray one right here or the black one. We will see. Now I'm going to address the elephant in the room that a lot of people have been saying. And yes, I will agree. Week one is not as hype as last year. Okay. I'll say it. I do like a lot of the items, especially the stuff we looked at earlier in the video, but some of these just aren't as good. Like the Gore-Tex track pants, they're pretty mid. They're not too great. And that's okay, guys. You know, you don't have to like every single item that Supreme comes out with, but you got to temper your expectations and not just expect every season to be 100% fire. Like I'm going to love every single week. It's going to be dope. We're going to get so many cool collaborations this year, guys. We're going to get so many nice pieces. I mean, paint long sleeve top while people aren't liking it. Like it's, it's an all right piece. University short sleeve top. It's an understated piece. It's just week one. We have probably Nike coming out for week two, which will be on February 28th for the second drop, I believe, or February 29th, I should say. Wow. They're dropping on leap day. That's pretty cool. I wonder when the last time that happened. Overall, I do think this is a pretty decent week. I don't think we're going to be having the same kind of sight issues that we had with week one last year. And man, people are really hating on this, the satin track pants. I kind of feel bad. I do kind of get it. The satin track pants are definitely an interesting look to say the least, but that is pretty much going to do it, guys. I know I didn't talk about every single piece. This video was getting pretty damn long, and I don't think you guys want to sit through 45, 50 minutes of me just being like, this is this piece, and uh, this is what I think about it. I mean, you guys do kind of want to do that <laughs> because that's what my channel is kind of based about, but you know what I'm saying? There's a, a couple of kind of mid pieces this week for sure. I definitely get that. 
blurred soccer jersey. It's all right. Trucks, twill, five panel. Here we go. We've looked at pretty much all of them, but that is going to do it for the week, guys. What do you think about week one for spring summer 2024 overall? If I had to give it a rating, I'm going to be honest and give it a 7.5 out of 10. It could actually maybe drop down to a 7 out of 10, but there are some pretty nice items that I do want to go after, kind of some pieces I'm thinking about copping. I feel like I have to go for the box logo just because it's a box logo. Let's just go for it. It's always kind of hype to, to put that in the title and to actually go for it. I think I'll probably grab, again, one of those Oxfords that was down there at the bottom. Maybe the football top to resell. If people don't think this will resell, then maybe we go for like a bag or potentially, potentially maybe one of the salvage jeans. Maybe actually dip our toes into the salvage jean market. That could be pretty cool, but I am gonna call it right there, guys. If you notice, I did do an outfit change because I was recording the video yesterday and I was overwhelmed by the size of the drop list. So I really tried to kind of clean up this video today and make it shorter. Definitely some parts I went too long, but yeah, I'll see you guys tonight on stream and tomorrow for drop day. Let's get hyped. Supreme is back, guys. Peace.